Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading to Peterborough. We're heading to a little campsite on the River Neem. Um, so there's no wild camping this weekend. And then tomorrow it's Peterborough show. Uh, we've got complimentary tickets thanks to the Roman Radfords. So we'll be going to the Peterborough show tomorrow. So let's hit the road and let's get down there and get set up. So we've arrived at Yarwell Mill Country Park and uh, we've got a non-electric grass pitch and I'll be honest it's a bit expensive it's £30 for a night here and it's just just grass but there is a river just along here so we're going to go and have a look at the river there's also if you come here um, and have a barrier key you have to pay a £50 deposit which you get back but we've not bothered because we're only stopping for one night and the dog's got a little new harness on look instead of a lead so we're going to take him for a little walk along the river and have a quick look and then get something to eat They've even got a little cafe in a gazebo, look. Oh, and they do ice creams, look. Yeah, but Zaki's left his money. Uh-oh. <laughs> and you, mate. <laughs> so here's the site map, and we're roughly down here somewhere. Get my glamorous assistant to use her finger. So yeah, quite a big camping field. Lots of um, lodges. Quite big, lovely looking lodges and a big carp lake as well, just there, look. Plenty to see here. And lots of boats down here on the River Neem. Boo's found a bit of water, he's happy now. I'll just have a little, I'll just have a little paddle in the edge, guys. Oh, I think that's enough. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done now. Well, you're going to stand on the dog. <laughs> the dog went right behind your feet. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why does it say? Oh, right. I mean, why not? We're here, so might as well. Oh, I thought this was like a little bit where you could go down, but it's not. It's just like... Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me Every night So we've got the toilet lot then, then we've got these wash facilities here So they're quite nice Well, it's ever so windy out there yeah, you've got three sinks in here for washing pots and the toilets behind us. Um, and these pictures along the riverside and up that way look like they must be seasonal pictures. And I'll be honest, they're not the tidiest pictures for a site like this. I think you'll have to spend a bit of money tidying them up. But they'd be a cracking pitch if they were set up nicely. So Zaki would like a pizza. So we've got a bit of pizza mix. Tomato sauce, pepperoni, cheese. Uh, we ain't got a bowl so we're mixing it in the pan and we're going to cook it in the ridge monkey so I've already messed up, I put too much water in the base mix I'm hoping that the sun and the warmth will thicken it up a bit so I managed to save the mixture, god knows how I've, I've had it all up my arms, it's on the floor, it's on the side 
it's all over here but we've rescued it so after finally rescuing the base we've got the tomato on and we've got the cheese on because this is for Zach and he just wants cheese on it so we've got the mozzarella on top and I'm going to cook it now so actually it turned out quite nice in the end lovely job Zach's going to be happy now he's got his pizza yep Now we can see why they charge £30 a night to stop here with no electric because it's like Sunset Boulevard down here. They've made a cracking job of it, it's absolutely yeah, it's, fantastic. It's amazing, like you're in another country. It's amazing some of these properties down here, obviously they're all privately owned I would say. Absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I'd love one but I'd have to rob a bank I think to buy one. Yeah we'd have to rob a bank to, to live down here. Really nice. Well, absolutely fantastic down here. Oh. Obviously you got the lake over there, look. How about that lakeside view? Absolutely that? stunning down there. All the palm trees, there's palm trees, tropical trees. These palm everywhere. trees are probably a couple hundred pounds a piece. Might get the spade out later when it's dark. Wonder what all these stone patches are for. So we're heading down the way to see if we can find the railway. We know it's over there somewhere because we've had the drone up. <laughs> but it was very windy up there, wasn't it guys? God yeah, just a bit. It's lovely down here, it's proper sheltered. Yeah. Ooh. It's warmed up down here, we're sheltered from wind. So Everybody kind of, wants to strip off. We're kind of wishing we didn't bring us coats. <laughs> and out in the middle of nowhere, literally out in the middle of just nowhere we are here, we found a £20 note on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> God knows where it's come from. We've not seen anybody walking past, so... So we found the train station, Neem Valley Railway and Peterborough Neem Park. Well, it looks like we've missed the last train. We've missed the last train, Zaki. So we found the station, but all the trains have gone. There's some guys down here fishing on that lake. There's another lake the other side. So it would have been would have been nice to have come down here early, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, there's a little park here, look, and it tells you all about what wildlife you can find on the lakes and around. Local wildlife. I'm ready for a lie down. Ugh. So we're heading back to the van now, aren't we guys? Yep. Yeah, glass of wine time. Heading back. She says glass of wine, we've already had three quarts of a bottle. <laughs> so we're just gonna go and finish the bottle off. Yep. Um, and then we're just gonna settle down for the night. It's a so, glorious evening. Oh, it's lovely now. Wish I hadn't brought my coat, but. Oh, look. So we'll uh, see you guys in the morning.